In this video, we're going to talk about ROS topics. Before we jump into the main topic of this video, if you're new to my channel, this channel is all about robotics, controls, machine learning, and computer vision, so subscribe to learn more. I have a bunch of playlists on computer vision, software, mechanical. This one's on OpenCV, ROS2, Python, C++, Git, mechanical design, SOLIDWORKS, and here's my GitHub that goes along with it. So let's jump back into the topic of this video. So the topic is one way data is moved between nodes where one or more publisher nodes can connect to one or more subscriber nodes. So let's go ahead and see what that means. So first off, let's start two of our nodes. So we'll have ROS to run uh, turtle sim and then turtle sim node. So this is our turtle sim node up and running. And then we'll go ahead and run another one. That's uh, ROS to run turtle sim and then turtle teleop. Okay, so this will allow us to control it. As you can see, we're moving our turtle. Now, what we can do is we could list out the topics. So we could do ROS to topic list, and this will show all the topics. And then if we add a dash T to this, we could see the type associated with the topic. Okay, so in this other window, we could go ahead and open the RQT graph. So you could see this is our uh, node. And if we refresh, uh, this is everything that's talking. So you can see between turtle sim and turtle uh, teleop turtle, um, the command velocity is being passed through. Here's some action uh, that we'll talk about later on, but for now we'll focus on um, this right here. So you can see our command velocity is one of the things listed. So if we want to see the specific topic output, we could have another terminal and then we could say ROS2 topic and then we could do echo and the topic name. So in this case is turtle1 and then the command velocity. So what this means is as I move the turtle, it's going to output the topic, okay? So that's what this does. And we could view the info by using the ROS to topic info, and we could pass in the uh, topic name, which is command velocity. So we could see that subscription count is two, publisher count is one, and the type is geometry messages message twist. So another way we could see the interface definition is we could uh, run this ROS to interface show, and then we have our geometry messages. And then as we saw here, it's gonna be the twist. So if I enter this, you're gonna see uh, what this takes in is a vector three linear of uh, X, Y, Z all floats, and the angular part is also uh, floats Six, float 64 for the XYZ. Okay, and we can also uh, try publishing the data at a specific rate. So it's going to follow the ROS. It's going to have the form of ROS to topic pub. And then the once just means that it's going to do it once and the exit. And we're going to pass in the topic name, the message type, and the argument, which here is going to be the command. So if I copy this and I run this, uh, did it twice. Okay, so ROS2, you can see it, it just drew. And if I do it again, you can see it drew again. Okay, so that's what this does. And notice that it's, if we look at the whole command again, we have the ROS2 topic pub once, the topic name, and then the type and then the message. So we saw that it's gonna be X, Y, Z for the linear and then X, Y, Z for the angular, okay? And we can also publish the data at a specific rate. So uh, this right here is top ROS2 to topic pub with rates at one hertz. And then again, we have the topic name, the type, and then the message or the, the goal, okay? 
So if I run this, you can see it's going to just keep going in a circle because it's at a certain frequency. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and stop this. Now what we could do is ROS2 uh, echo, and we could see the pose here. So actually, let me just run this again. So here, let's just go ahead and open up another one. So here, I'm going to have a ROS2 topic echo, and then the turtle pose. You can see that it's outputting the pose as this turtle is moving. Okay, and if we come back here and refresh this, you see that we added the pose here, okay, because now it's outputting. And we can also view the topic frequency here. So I'm going to go ahead and stop this. If I do ROS2 topic uh, hertz and the topic name turtle1 uh, pose, well, now, now the pose. You can see that um, it shows us the average rate. Average rate, min, max, standard deviation, and the window. Okay, so this will tell us the frequency. So in our next video, we'll talk about services. And if you found this video helpful, give a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.